Scripture News Channel, that you may know the truth. Are you feeling worn out, hard-hearted, or trapped by the weight of your past? God is offering you more than just a way out. He is offering you a new beginning. Stay with me, and by the end of this message, you will discover how God brings new life, love, forgiveness, and freedom to transform every corner of your heart. May the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension, guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Life can be exhausting, overwhelming, and filled with emotional wounds that leave us feeling stuck. We become hardened by our pain, feel trapped by our own mistakes, and carry the heavy burden of past hurts. We often wonder, is there a way to truly move forward? To experience love where our hearts have become cold, or forgiveness where we've been hurt, and where we ourselves have caused harm? God's promise to each of us is clear. He offers new life, love, forgiveness, and freedom. These are not abstract ideas. They are real gifts that can transform our daily lives. But how do we receive these gifts? How do we unlock God's power to bring us the freedom and joy we so desperately need? Let us listen to the Word of God. I am reading from Isaiah 43, verse 18 to 19, Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. This is the Word of God. In this passage, God calls us to leave behind the past and recognize the new work He is doing in our lives. But how can we embrace this when our hearts are burdened with pain and we feel stuck in old patterns? The challenge is not just about moving on. It's about trusting in the new life God is bringing, even when we can't see it clearly yet. It's about letting go of old hurts and allowing God's grace to work within us. Isaiah's words are a reminder that God doesn't just fix what's broken. He makes all things new. Whether we are stuck in the pain of the past or trapped by our own mistakes, God brings a fresh start. Throughout Scripture, we see this theme unfold again and again. Take the story of David, a man after God's own heart who made grave mistakes. After his sin with Bathsheba, David felt the weight of guilt and shame. But in Psalm 51, he cries out to God, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Psalm 51, verse 10. David didn't ask for God to simply fix him. He asked for a new heart, a transformation. This is the kind of renewal God offers us. In moments when our hearts grow hard, like the Israelites in the wilderness who doubted God's provision, God's love remains steadfast. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. Ezekiel 36 verse 26. When we feel hardened by life's challenges, God offers us new love, softening our hearts to receive His grace and compassion. Similarly, when we feel imprisoned by unforgiveness, whether toward ourselves or others, God brings freedom. Jesus Himself, while hanging on the cross, prayed, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Luke 23, verse 34. Even in the depths of pain, Jesus chose forgiveness. If Jesus could forgive from the cross, how much more can we, with His Spirit in us, forgive those who have hurt us and seek forgiveness for our own wrongs? God's promise of new life and forgiveness also brings joy and freedom. Where we once felt trapped, God's Spirit sets us free. As Paul writes, Now the Lord is the Spirit. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. 2 Corinthians 3 verse 17 This freedom is not just from sin, but from the burdens of fear, shame, and self-condemnation that we place on ourselves. Here's the good news. No matter where you are right now, whether weary, burdened, or distant from God, he is doing a new thing in your life. He's bringing streams of grace to the dry, barren places in your heart. All he asks is that you open your heart and welcome his spirit to begin the work of transformation. So, how does this passage speak to you today? Perhaps you're holding on to past mistakes or hurts, or maybe you've grown cold in your faith. God is inviting you to embrace the new life he is offering. 
Today is the day to release what has held you back and trust in the freedom, joy, and peace that only God can bring. He brings new life where you are worn, new love where you've been hardened, and forgiveness where you've been wounded. God's word is clear. He is making a way for you, even in the wilderness of your heart. You are not alone in this journey. The Holy Spirit is with you, guiding you into the fullness of God's love. God is doing a new thing in your life right now. He brings new life, new love, and new freedom where you need it most. Trust in his promise and let him transform every part of you. Prayer points. 1. Lord, renew our hearts and help us to let go of past hurts. 2. Father, soften our hearts where they have grown hard and fill us with your love. 3. Holy Spirit, bring freedom where we have been imprisoned by unforgiveness, fear, or shame. Closing prayer, Heavenly Father, we thank you for the new life you bring to us. Today, we release our past to you and embrace the new work you are doing in our hearts. We declare that where there was once hurt, you will bring healing. Where there was once hardness, you will bring softness and love. And where we were once imprisoned by fear or shame, you will set us free. We trust in your promises, and we declare freedom, joy, and peace over our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. If this message has spoken to your heart, don't let it stop here. Take a moment today to pray and ask God to show you the areas where he wants to bring new life. Share this video with someone who needs to hear about the power of God's grace and love. Let's continue to walk in his freedom together. Let us share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and evermore. Amen.